Welcome to Cuba. This is Havana, the capital city of this island nation. And I'm sitting on the Malacan, the waterfront walkway that runs all around the city. And behind me is the historic old city center. Let's go inside and explore. The Old City Center is the most popular spot to visit for good reason. There's history around every corner, from the Capitol building to some of the oldest churches to the picture-perfect fortress. There's so many stories in each stone and every brick. Well, Havana is, you know, is a very nice uh, city, very complex city in terms of the architecture. It's amazing the amount of colonials uh, trying to build in the area. It's a unique city. Havana is a living postcard. This vivid city is set on the sea, so the ocean breeze blows through the cobbled streets, giving way to beautiful plazas and parks lined with artists, booksellers, and galleries. To get the inside look at the history, a guide can give you so much more context, and members of the United States Tour Operators Association provide not only knowledgeable guides, but more like local friends that can make the history and culture more tangible and easy to comprehend. Daniel shed light on the history of the country through its buildings. We saw the old, the restored, and the new constructions, and like any city, he showed us how Havana is ever evolving. I'm an architect working in Havana, and Havana is a, well, you will see that it's a beautiful city, it's an eclectic city. You will find all kinds of different styles. 12% uh, of the city was built during the colonial period, more or less, from 18th century and 19th century. Then, during the Republican period, it was the beginning of 20th century until 1959, was built almost 80% of the city, and in that period, and in, in an area that is a Havana Center, you will find all kinds of different styles. Uh, Art Nouveau, Art Deco, Neoclassic, and even a lot of different buildings with, where they mix a lot of different elements from different styles. The Cuban culture places a huge emphasis on the afterlife. That's why here, the Colon Cemetery is a very important place in Havana. Just walking past all these detailed, impressive plots, you feel like you're walking through the pages of history. There are so many stories written on these monuments. Over 2.5 million people are buried here, and it's still a working cemetery even today. After 1959, Cubans were allowed only to have three properties, a main house, usually a beach house or country home, and a grave plot. As you can see, for many, the latter was the most important. Each grave outdoes the next with marble flown in from Italy or France, and when you visit, make sure you bring a guide along so you can learn all the stories behind each plot. But art and architecture in Cuba is for everyone, and it's a part of daily life. The Cuban culture places a huge emphasis on art, and there are galleries around almost every corner. Make sure you pop your head in, because some of the artwork is truly fantastic. This is a city that loves art, and even more, it's artists. Art and expression is championed and revered, from the street art to museums to art galleries in abundance. Cuba Travel Services arranged for us to have an in-depth tour of the artsy side of Havana, which even took us outside the old city to where an exciting new art project was taking place. This cutting-edge space is called Fabrica d'Arte Cubana. It's a massive warehouse which honors and supports all different kinds of art and artists, from traditional to alternative, music to cinema to fashion to photography, and then on the weekend nights it turns into a club where there's performances and there's cinema and a wild party. All media was included and celebrated, and nothing was off limits. Cuban artists aren't afraid to explore any theme really in their art, socially or politically, and it's really inspiring. A personal highlight was a visit to the home of one of this island nation's leading artists. Lorenzo's art is hard to describe. The power of his pieces almost need to be experienced in person, and his unique perspective on life, on Cuba, and on humanity helped to color my own picture of what life is really like now in Cuba. Art here is very strong. It's, um, it enriches, you know, Cuba in a very strong way. And uh, it's beautiful. It, we're very cultural, let's say, you know? We, we do movies and we do plays and we dance and we do very good music. 
and uh, we do sculptures and paintings and we're really good in sports. You know, Cubans are very alive. Cuba is alive. It's always alive. And I think that's the way it's going to be forever. Cuba is very alive. And when you visit, you will feel the spirit of this country that inspires so much creative expression.